This fuzzy creature is known as Crassula mesembryanthemoides. <laughs> Crassula mesembryanthemoides. Oh, Crassula mesembryanthemoides. This fuzzy creature is known as Crassula mesembryanthoides, and it has that specific species name because it looks like a fellow mesem, which is a different kind of plant in a different kind of family. Now this particular one is native to South Africa, but there are so many different types of variations of this one. I actually don't think that this is what it looks like in its native habitat. I think that this one has actually been selected by a specific breeder and they selected it for this kind of like longer form leaves and this really kind of fuzzy leaf which is um it, it's quite nice actually to kind of pet and uh i love crassulas in general i think it's really one of my favorite species um, species or genus of succulents and uh, I have various different versions of this one. This is actually one of the newer crassulas that I have gotten but I have this growing in a number of kind of succulent gardens as well and I just think the form of it and the geometry of this particular plant is just so beautiful. Now I have this growing close to my southwest facing window but a little down so it's not getting a tremendous amount of angle of light and that's actually okay because I found that crassulas get a little bit more puckery and a little bit more burned in such harsh, intense kind of conditions of light. So I often will have my crassulas in the window during the winter or the fall months when the light is starting to wane. And then when spring and summer comes around, I start to pull it away a little bit more. As far as watering goes, I water this just about maybe once a week. And, uh, and in the winter months, a little bit more like once every two weeks. And it is a really thorough watering because you wanna make sure that the roots get thoroughly watered. And I have the soil substrate as a little bit more of a well-draining mixture which with a little bit more perlite. Now, as far as fertilizing goes, these plants will be happy if you do this on a monthly basis and a little bit more of a succulent fertilizer. So you might find a, like a 111 or a 011 or a 277 or a 247 um, is gonna be perfect for these particular plants. As far as propagation goes, I think actually these could be grown by leaf propagation, but don't quote me on that. Um, typically, oftentimes, if the crassula breaks, I get a piece of the stem and then it actually starts to propagate from there. But these plants do seem like they could potentially propagate just by a leaf cutting if it's sheared clean off at the base. But somebody maybe growing this will have a little bit more insight as well. As far as pest pressures go, I mean, I have a number of this type of crassulas like within my home, but I've never seen any kind of pests on it. So that is a very good sign, especially if you want to expand your succulent collection.